Hello ma'am, uh, my name is Zawal Pandav, I am from collegedunner.com. A very warm welcome to our interview series, which is for thoughts on education, where we interview with the various dignitaries, such as owners, VCs, principals, HODs and teachers. Before I proceed with this interview, I would request to give you a brief introduction. Ma'am. Um, hello, um, and thank you for having me here. Uh, I am Dr. Sapna Prabhu, and I am uh, currently Head Department of Electronics and Human Science at FRCRC. I have been here for the last 30 years. In fact, I'm an alumnus of the college and uh, I've held various positions throughout the first 30 years and um, have managed to you know, upgrade my qualifications. I've finished my master's, my doctorate while I was teaching in this college. Yeah. It was really nice knowing about you and your experience, ma'am. So my first question is, you held a key position at the uh, Education Institute throughout your professional career. What keeps you connected with the education sector and how has been your experience so far with this industry? So as I said, um, I have definitely an emotional connect because I'm also a student of this college. And uh, I must say that FRCRC probably, and uh, I am not flattering, is probably one of the best institutes to be in because you end up getting a lot of academic freedom. So as a teacher, uh, I've always had a lot of academic freedom to, you know, to plan my courses, etc. Even when it comes to running my department, I end up getting a lot of flexibility on how I want to engage with the students, how our faculty should plan, you know, the practical courses, etc. So that way, uh, FRCRC has actually been able to, you know, give us the right ecosystem to kind of uh, develop, um, you know, budding engineers. Yes. Being the HOD in electronics and computer science of other like the college, what are your rules and responsibility towards the students? So, ECS, Electronics and Computer Science, is actually a new branch which is brought up by the University of Mumbai. And our first branch is currently in the final year. And uh, as, it, as it comes to about the students, um, so my role as HOD starts right from, uh, you know, um, handling the faculty, handling the students, looking at the project quality, um, trying to nurture research interests and so on and so forth, building infrastructure and so on. So obviously uh, as health department, I, we play, uh, I play a lot of roles, um, you know, to try and see, uh, try to uh, you know, fill up all the gaps and how to build the department and so on. How do you try to bring the practical approach toward the subject and make it industry oriented? Yeah, actually that is the need of the future, right? So currently we can see that uh, gone are the days where you could just teach a course and you don't expect students to learn it in the industry. That doesn't work any longer, especially in engineering education. It's becoming so important to try and, uh, you know, uh, be industry ready when you're passing out. So as, as specifically in my department, if I can say, and also in the college across the departments, we actually encourage students to uh, do a lot of online courses we encourage them to take up internships so they are going into industry and doing real life projects etc and also other than the academic curriculum other than the programming uh, subjects that they have or other than the other hardware subjects that they have they, we, they are encouraged and they do a lot of students are basically getting themselves ready for industry by learning and keeping themselves completely abreast of newer technologies so I can simply say that by the time they pass out they are almost industry ready what do you see as the greatest strength of Father Agnew College? So FRCRC has this distinct uh, uniqueness, if I may say so. It is run by fathers and therefore it's an extremely, it's an extremely simple system. And probably one of the biggest strength at FRCRC is that we give the students the entire, uh, all the avenues for personality development. I mean, if you could just check up our website, you will see the amount of events that are taking that are taking place because you realize that nowadays students don't have to be just engineers; they need to be all-round all personalities. And therefore, other than their academics, they they are you know students can pursue any kind of passion that they want, be it uh, project development, extra project. Uh, they work on project teams and groups. They you know for soft skill developments, for all kind of extra career. We have debating societies, etc. So I would say that one of our biggest strengths happens to be is the student passing out from CRC definitely has uh, you know has changed when they came in four years back and I believe us I'm sure their personalities have greatly gained from their four years here. Yeah. Any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students? 
you shouldn't ask this question to someone who's been teaching for 30 years because we keep doing suggestions. But yeah, one thing I still I would like to say, and probably mentioned in some of the world and also that it is very important for every young student who's passing out to understand that industry or the world outside needs adaptable people. So you need to be learnable. And this is something that we always share with our students. That it's not sufficient just to get a good degree and move out. You should have an ability to learn, unlearn and relearn. So that is probably something I would urge everybody to, every student, uh, you know, to understand that if they can master that part, you know, and keep their minds open, then I think the time is limited. It was pleasure talking to you and interviewing your thoughts on education, ma'am. Thank you so much.